Hello everyone, I am Pavani, working as an assistant professor in CSC AIML department, MLR Institute of Technology. Today, I would like to give session on processing Indian languages in natural language processing. The overview is about the introduction and the key differences between the Indian languages and English. Uh, there are number of differences between Indian languages and English. There are number of differences between Indian languages and English. This is the processing of Indian languages compared to English. Indian languages are very different from English because of this. It is difficult to process them in the same way as English. Compared to English, the Indian language processing is very difficult. This is the this meaning of the about introduction about the processing of Indian languages. The next, the key differences are English. English which is a, which has a linear structure that means easy easy structure. Indian languages are non-linear indic structure that means difficult structure. Default in Indian languages uses default sentence structure is SOV subject object verb subject object verb and whereas English uses svo subject verb object here the subject is ame pustakam chadavutundi it is whereas she in telugu ame pustakam chadavutundi she books read this is the non linear structure basic example of the non linear structures actual structure is she reads the book. This is the SVO subject verb object. This is the example of SOV and SVO. Coming to third one free word order. In the languages, words can move freely without changing the meaning. It means Ame Pustakam Chavutundi. She reads the book. Pustakam Ame Chavutundi. Pustakam Ame Ame Pustakam Chavutundi. This is the rearrangement of words. That means Free in Indian languages, we can move words freely without changing the meaning. Here, there is no meaning change. Freely, we can move the words from one place to another place. In English, it is not possible. We cannot change the words from one place to another place. We can move, but the meaning will automatically change. But in Indian language, Meaning will not change. Next, spelling standardization is more difficult in Hindi than English. Compared to Hindi, the spelling standardization is more difficult. Compared to English, the, the Hindi spelling standardization is more difficult. Indian languages have richer set of morphological variants. Compared to English, the morphological variants means form of words. That means the change of case, gender, like this. These are the change of the form of the words. Next, Indian languages make extensive use of complex predicates. That means we are adding a main verb to Additional, additional words. We are adding main verb to additional words. Chase kundu only. That means is doing. We are adding verb to another additional word. Next. Use of post position. Indian languages use post position instead of prepositions. In this is the main difference. 
Indian languages use the post position instead of prepositions, which is syntactic difference. The main difference is Indian languages are only using post positions, not prepositions. Verb complexes consist of sequence of verbs. The auxiliary verbs in sequence provide information about tense, mood, and aspect. Hindi and Urdu relationship. The relationship between Hindi and Urdu is Urdu and Hindi share a similar phonology, morphology that means sound, means structure formation and syntax. Both the free word that means we can in Hindi in Urdu we can change the word means we can freely move the words from one place to another place. Use post positions. Difference in Indian language only use only post positions, not prepositions. We already discussed it. Difference arise mainly in vocabulary. Urdu borrows from Persian and Arabic. Hindi borrows from Sanskrit. These are the main key differences between processing Indian languages. In this session, we discussed about the introduction, introduction and key differences, differences of Indian languages and English. Thank you.